All right, quick disclaimer, nothing happened to the cat. It was kind of curious, was he going to attack me? I mean, the drone, or was I going to attack him? I think he just decided to run off. That's the house cat. Hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. Here's another project. This is the third video from this project. You probably saw, you can check out parts one and two down below. Um, retaining one, we did a little quick pour in the front. So this is the uh, patio for the backyard. It's 450 square feet, four inches thick. Number three rebar, 16 inches on center. I had my son break out everything, took it to the front, so he did a good job. I appreciate that. And you know, there's plenty of videos out here that show you how to pour concrete, what tools to use. So I won't get into all of that. I will say if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento Bay Area, if you need some work done, we're the ones to do it. So sit back, relax, any questions, any comments, leave down below. I'll jump in and out of the narrative. Again, it's 450 square feet, simple broom finish concrete. I got the drone up. Um, we got a Finishing up a big job out there in Castro Valley. Got one over in San Rafael. So if you're looking to get some work done, hit us up. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. 900 away from 10,000. Big moment for us. So if you haven't subscribed, do so. Let's get into it. All right, so on any flat work that we pour, we use a minimum of two inches of compact base rock. Now, base rock acts as the uh, pre-floor for the actual concrete here. So it's very important that you add base rock. There might be some circumstances where you don't need to add it if the ground is really, really hard, but to play it safe, add the base rock. We use number three rebar, 16 inches on center. We also will use a wire mesh when we're doing any flat work. So it doesn't really make a difference whether it's number three rebar or wire mesh. The uh, As long as you have something in there, I think you guys should be good there. Also, a lot of people ask us what kind of concrete mix do we use? So I never ever use fiber in, our, uh, in my concrete mixes and the mix that I've been using probably for the last 10, 15 years has been a six sack pea gravel four inch slump where they're pouring retaining walls piers flat work now that can change if the uh, some plants specify a different mix but that's what i use on the regular so we're nine we're 900 away from 10,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please do so enjoy the video continue to enjoy the video Right, so here we go snapping the line for our joints here now the first joint that we snap we kind of center it to make sure everything lines up perfectly and each square you're gonna see a little later on it's kind of we kind of put them I guess you'll say five to ten feet five to eight feet apart just depending on how big the slab is but you can see us here just kind of um, getting our first main joint down now there's been a lot of debate well I don't want to call it debate but the Deep joints, expansion joints, whatever you guys want to call them, are primarily designed for hairline cracks. And you have some people that say we can guarantee against hairline cracks. That's just not the case. Now, we do guarantee against structural cracks. But what these deep joints, I call them, uh, do is ideally, if you do get a hairline crack, you are wanting to hit that deep joint or control joint. I know we're going to get some concrete experts out here and travel up that control joint as opposed to going all the way across the uh the patio but with us preparation is the key and that's where the base rock and the um rebar comes into play at and that minimizes uh hairline cracks 
So I just want to give that out, give that information to you guys, because a lot of guys that say, oh, I guarantee you against crack. No one can guarantee you against crack. No one. And there is a difference between a hairline crack and a structural crack, but no one can guarantee it. So you kind of want to place your deep joints in uh, strategic places. And if you do get a hairline crack, you hopefully it'll hit that hairline crack and travel up it as opposed to across the patio. Definitely want to give a shout out to the guys. We had three finishers on here as well as two labors. And again, we poured the uh, retaining wall. We poured, we actually set up and poured the front patio, front porch. And then we also poured this, uh, this big patio back here. So that's where experience and teamwork comes into play at. Um, you can hit us up. All our information is below if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area or the Sacramento area. Hit us up. All that information is below. I'll leave a couple links uh, at the end of this video that shows part one and two. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Remember, hang around people that are positive. It's cool to ask for help. 